What an amazing day out on the water, my friends. Check it out. It is perfect to go down with my uh, Five Fish V6, I dubbed Zoidberg. Although my claw that I normally have on the front is not functioning at the moment. Why? Uh, it seems to have had a wire break. Hopefully this comes to the attention of uh, Kwasi. I kind of sent the information to let them know. Uh, hopefully everybody else has a good claw experience with theirs, whereas mine, I'm having to wait on a new one. But I don't care. There is beautiful sea life down here. I'm actually at, if you check it out, on Vancouver Island. I have been here for weeks. Look at this, this is in Maple Bay. All the boats are here. All right, everybody's docked up here, but it's quite, you know, it's gotta have at least 15 feet below us. Here is my five fish V6 right here. No claw today, as I mentioned, not a big deal. Got my GoPro Hero 9 on top. Gonna to be taking some extra shots for you with that. This has some great LEDs on the front and a 4K camera on the front, uh, or up to 4K, you could say. Everything's ready to go. I wanna throw it in the water and see what we can see. Good luck. Have fun. Explore away. All right, just get myself straightened out here. In the lower left-hand corner, you can see the position of my uh, ROV or submarine. I'm now facing down with a forward position, and above my uh, above that, you can see my depth. And as I start going down, you'll see the depth finder is showing that. Uh, and at, at the top of your screen, you can see how long I've been recording for. This is my interface that I have on my phone. This is what I can see on my screen using the Five Fish app. And so I'm diving down right now. I see a tire. I see a cable. I see a hundred little fish. Holy cow. I'm 23 feet down, I've been filming for a minute, so let me go ahead and show you the onboard camera without uh, the interface. This is what the five fish is actually seeing. I don't have any of my lights on. And then here's the comparison to the GoPro. So this is again with no lights on. I've got some artifacts on the front of the, wi of the viewing window, not a big deal. Um, I'm going to try to turn on my lights here to see if that makes a difference. Two stage lighting, stage one, and then two. So bright is pretty good. These look amazing. These guys aren't bothered by my thrusters at all. You can hear that my thrusters are working hard to keep me stable. And uh, these little guys don't seem to mind at all. They're just more curious than anything. That's pretty cool. As a landlocked person normally, Seeing anything like this is just too cool. If you guys are watching right now, please leave me a like click. I didn't know what a spectacular dive this was going to turn out to be. Like I said, being a landlocked person, <laughs> seeing anything like bottles or coral reef or, or, or even kelp growing, you know, that, that's a treasure for me. Speaking of bottles, what the heck? I just saw a few bottles on the bottom here. Looking straight through the five fish, you guys are getting a nice clean look even though I've got the depth up there for you and the date and the time. Here I am looking through the screen. What the heck are all these bottles? The first thing I thought of when I looked at all these bottles, I just shook my head and I thought, you know, darn humans and their, and their garbage. But then when I actually did the history of Maple Bay in BC on Vancouver Island, ships have been coming here for like hundred, hundreds of years uh, doing, you know, like in the old days, this used to be a place where they would drop off things for the gold miners and, 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 and the gold rush that was here. So who knows, these bottles might be here a long time or heck, maybe somebody was trying to get off the island put a couple of messages in there I should check <laughs> I wish my claw was working look at this little uh, thing hey at 42 feet deep I swam straight out you guys are here like where's the shipwreck I don't see any speedboat what's going on like I said th this is just a cool treasure for me to look at right here I don't know what this is if you guys know what it is please let me know in the video uh, comment section I wouldn't mind I love to read all your guys's videos uh, or all your guys' video comments, I meant to say. Distracted by this little bottle on the ground, because one of the things I noticed about some of these bottles is they actually looked to be made out of clay. Now, that's probably just from the, the sediment on it or whatever, but some of them look glass, some of them look like clay. 
Okay, so 36 feet deep, I'm like, I don't know where I am exactly because you're having to pilot and like sail this machine through the water. You have to imagine where you're at, keep everything in your mind. And I thought, I'll come up to the surface and see where I'm at. And I know exactly where I am. I'm underneath the boat that was exactly to the left of me. So crazy. And it looks like from when I was up on the dock that this boat has not moved in a very long time. And I thought, I might as well have a look here. Maybe show the viewers what underneath a boat looks like if one hasn't been moving for a while. That's quite a bit of algae growth. And there's a whole cluster of mussels, I think. I think that's what it is. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get up to the surface so I can see exactly where I'm at and then uh, see if we can go and dive down and, and find anything else. Like, we've already read the title. We know where we're waiting for. <gasps> Everyone take a deep breath. Back down in we go. And I thought, okay, well, I'll just go down to the bottom of the dock and see what, what? What am I looking at? Uh, that doesn't make sense to me. Oh my gosh. There is a boat at the bottom of the docks. Are you kidding me? I thought I was excited when I found my drone in the back pond. 22 feet deep. Who can name this old boat? It looks like an old, like what, 80s style? Oh, there's a cable. Oh, I better be extra careful here. You guys, you have to remember, I'm on a tether, right? I'm on a, on a line that's communicating back to my radio that, that sends me the video information. I don't want to get wrapped around something and get tied up, so I want to back off a little bit. Look at these fish. These fish are crazy. They're all over. Unbelievable. Now, it was at this point in time I realized my GoPro on its own switched to time-lapse mode. I don't know why. It's something I'm going to have to look at. I think it's a glitch in my 9. Uh, that's the GoPro I'm using. And so, uh, we'll have to check it out. But these two views are just as dynamic. Unbelievable. Glad to switch on my light. I'm trying to figure out how to get around and I'm really assessing is there any wire in the in the water that I can't see I don't want to get wrapped around that cleat on on the boat itself right 80s boat hey I'm not sure what is that underneath it almost looks like a milk crate <laughs> with me and my curious style I thought I might as well go down and have a look at it but then I saw these things and I'm like whoa what is growing off the boat again I'm just being a chicken I don't want to get my uh, five fish caught up on something I'm glad I didn't see anybody in the boat can we say that can we get a hell yeah in the comment section because <laughs> if I would have seen somebody in the boat I couldn't post the video for you guys to see and I would have just had traumatic dreams for the rest of my life but yes if you're wondering if there's boats down at the bottom of the dock when you walk around some of these places the answer is absolutely we all fear that Jason Voorhees will rise up again, right, at Camp Crystal Lake. Like it's all cockeyed. Like it's, it's been, it's, uh, it's not sitting flat. That's for sure. Anybody have a theory on how this actually went to the bottom? Hey, who knows? Was it too low and there was a big wave and it came and swept over the top? It doesn't look like it had a cover on it. I'm not a boating person, so I don't know. Is there anything in here at all? I want to jump scream you guys right now so bad. <laughs> Just a super spooky photo right there. Just to scare the crap out of you. But nah, I don't want to do that to you. I think it's just insane that we get to see all these fish floating around. Look at all the things I can get hung up on and tie my five fish around. Hey, is that crazy? Oh well. So there you have it. That's my first sunken boat. Can I say it's a shipwreck? Guys, let me know in the comment section. Can I say it's a shipwreck or do I have to say a sunken boat? I don't know. One way or the other, it was a vessel of the sea. It is still a vessel of the sea. You guys got to see a pretty cool video today. I can see my line. That's what I try to do, swim my way back up. 
uh, and find my way back out. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. How cool is that, my friends? What a decent day to come out uh, and to go exploring with you. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel and RC Adventures. Uh, I hope that these films are entertaining you. I know they're a little different. We get to see in other parts of the world where most people don't get to explore. And like, what can I say about coming across a sunken boat that I haven't said already? That is just astonishing. A little creepy. I wonder what happened there. You never know. Was it a wave that just came over and sunk it to the bottom? Someone went down there and stripped it all out, hey? It's amazing how much stuff is down there and the history behind a bay and a marina. I'm sure all around the world there's a whole bunch to explore. This is just the literal tip of the iceberg. Leave us a like click. Hopefully if you have any comments, you'll leave it in the comment section down below. I can, if you have any questions, uh, I can answer them there. I love reading your stuff. Uh, and until next time, as always, go outside, have fun with radio control. And here you can check out another video right now.